Hello everyone, welcome to Ponderings of the Priest. How many of us think about what is it about faith that is relevant in our lives if we were to ask, answer the question, so what? So what does it matter that I say I'm a Christian? So what does it matter that I say I am a disciple of Jesus? And how does that apply to my life today? What difference does it make? And I'd like to ponder um, some of the ways that this can make a difference. It does make a difference. We're not always aware that it does. But I'd like to ponder some of the spiritual tools that we can use that reinforce our faith and reinforce why faith is relevant in our lives. Why does it make a difference? How does Jesus Christ make a difference for me today in the way I choose to live my life, in the way I choose to interact with other people? How do I do that? And why does it matter? So I'd like to talk about how we do that over the next couple of weeks, over the next couple of ponderings, if you will. And then after that, sort of to tackle what are some of the things that block us from that. So the, the first thing and foremost is communication. Communication and connection with God. And the way we can do that is through prayer. But what is prayer? Prayer is so many different things and there's no one right way to pray or one wrong way to pray. There are some ways that are uh, more helpful than others and there are some ways we pray that are frustrating because they really don't get us anywhere. So um, there's a wonderful little book called Help Thanks Wow by Anne Lamott. And she says that these are the only three prayers that we ever need. Help, thanks, wow. And I think those are three wonderful prayers. Help sort of says it all. For me, that's the most powerful prayer I can ever pray is, God, please help me. What has to come along with that for me is an unconditional acceptance that however that help comes is the way God needs that help to come. And that I don't get to say, help me, God, but please do it this way. Because usually that, well, actually that has never worked for me. So that's, you know, one of the things. You might want to pick that little book up. It's a wonderful little book to read. For me, uh, as of late, I what works for me in prayer is just to simply get quiet and to be with God and to not have any words and just to open myself up to God's presence. Sometimes I feel it more than other times, but it is an act of faith just to do that. For some of us, reading morning prayer and evening prayer and doing Compline, which are all in the Book of Common Prayer, is very helpful to us and very meaningful to us, especially as a family, to do that together as a family. To come and to pray and to share our worship of Christ together on Sunday mornings and other times. That uh, My experience is, is that uh, nothing is as powerful as corporate worship and corporate prayer and it's a completely different atmosphere and, and faith. So what prayer does really is it allows me to communicate with God, it allows my heart to connect with God because that's a lot of for me the posture of prayer is just simply opening my heart up to God and saying here I am please fill me with your presence and help me to know what you would have me do. <clears throat> And that then informs my faith and gives me guidance and helps me to know what to do. The things that don't work for me are when I give God to-do lists. God knows what I need. God knows better than, what I, than I do what I need and what other people need. And so the biggest prayer, I think, the most powerful is to say, help me to know your will and help me to do it. Give me what I need to be able to do it. Um, prayer can be rote, it can be the rosary for some, it can be the Lord's Prayer for others, it can be a favorite prayer that works for you. As I said, there's really no right or wrong way. What's important is that we pray every day and that it's deliberate, it's conscientious, and it is a, a intentional, quiet time just to be with God. So I will leave you that to ponder and more next week. Have a wonderful day, everybody.